Hi there. Today I want to show how you install the EMC module on a Orange Pi 5 Plus with Bela Box. And I've been I've been running mine on the micro SD for a while, but I figured the EMMC variant is safer because then you don't risk of ejecting your micro SD midstream or something like that. And I have this EMMC to micro SD adapter, which was for my old hard kernel Odroid boards, but that doesn't work with this EMMC module as it seems. So since I don't have another adapter, I figured I'll show how to do it using a USB cable from your PC using the Rock uh, development tools. The first thing we need is we need the tools from the Orange Pi website. So you go down to have a look here. Uh, you go to orangepie.org and then you go to service and download. Scroll down to Orange Pi 5 Plus and then official tool downloads and that will get, get you on a Google Drive. And what you need is the Android and Linux image writing tool, Archi, Dev Tool, and Driver. And you download that. That takes a little while. I have them downloaded already. So we'll. Uh, we we'll go in here. I'm already in here. And what I did was I had uh, basically in downloads, I just extracted the, the zip file that came from that. Click in here. Uh, then extract the driver assistant. Uh, install the driver. You will need that. I've done that already. And then go back here and the next thing is um, extract the Archi dev tool I extract here okay first thing to do here is because when you open it first it will be all in Chinese so open the config any um, in a notepad and change selected language to number two I'll save. But when you start the Archidev tool, then it'll be in English. Great. Okay. Now it's going. USB cable from the PC. That goes into this port um, on the side with the USB 3 ports, the blue ones. The next thing you obviously need to do is install the eMMC uh, module. It's a good positive click here. So then you need a power cable. And while you, at the same time as you plug in the power, you will need to hold down the mask on button. If you don't have, have your board in the case, uh, then you can probably press it with your finger. But in my case, I need a little screwdriver to, to get to it. So. And as you can see, it says found one mask RAM device. Okay, so we need to go and we need to click on, right click on boot, load config. And you find that again in your downloads, uh, Android image, and Linux image, and then you go into the mini loader folder and you pick the RK3588 Linux EMMC config, okay? Now you click behind loader here, you click on the back and you choose the mini loader all. And for the EMMC, you choose uh, your image, which I have on my desktop somewhere. There, my desktop. And we go down to, oh, Orange Pi 5 Plus. That's the image for, it's the same as the micro SD image, right? You then click on write by address and you click on run. So, and this will take a while. So I will speed the video up and uh, see you on the other side. Okay, so download image okay, that's grand. So we can disconnect both USB cables. Normally it should have rebooted now, but it's sitting red. And there's a reason for that.
because the SPI flash isn't boot in this board. So what we do is we put the micro SD backend that has Bela box on it. Okay. And plug a network cable in so I can get to it. And I'll plug the power back in. And it will be booting this time on the micro SD. Okay, so I can close this, I can close this, and ah. Grant. So what we need to do now is um, go into the advanced developer, uh, start the SSH server, copy the password. Okay, so we start putty and 1055 We're logging into the shell of our uh, little launch pie. Copy the password. Okay, and then sudo dd if equals dev zero of def mtd block zero password again it says dd writing to def mtd block zero no space left on device that is expected basically we are now waiting for the buffer to clear and um, that will take a while just be patient let it run its time i'll speed this up again 2,000 years later. Okay, and now it has finished um, and we can then basically exit. Go to system, power off. So, unplug the power. Remove the MyQuestD. Plug this back in again. And power the board up again. And this time it will boot, as you can see from the LED. So it's changed its IP. And here we go. Yeah, and that's it. And all you need to do then is to do your updates after that. I hope this helped. Um, if so, like the video maybe and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you in another one.